Now Robert Tilton is an American televangelist widely known for his informational styled religious television program. He asked people to send him prayer requests so he would pray over each of them. But an investigation found out that Tilton was only interested in collecting the viewers money. He threw out prayer requests without even reading them. It is reported that his ministry raked up to 80 million US dollars per year. There are plenty of redemption stories in the Bible. But for us people of the 21st century, forgiveness doesn't come easy. Trust me. In this video, we'll tell you the true stories of three religious leaders whose fall from grace shocked the entire world. And of course, before we continue, subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more interesting videos like this one. Number one, Ted Haggard. This American evangelical pastor was a staunch opposer of premarital sex, adultery, and gay marriage. But in the year 2006, he found himself at the center of a gay slash drug scandal. Can you believe it? A male escort publicly claimed that Pastor Ted had been his client for years and alleged the pastor used crystal meth in front of him. Haggard, of course, resigned from his church and tried conversion therapy. Number two, Kibijon Caldwell. This Windsor Village United Methodist Church pastor has the eyes of 14,000 followers trained on him since March 2018. Caldwell is being accused of defrauding investors $3.4 million through worthless Chinese bonds. He allegedly used the funds for personal needs like loans, mortgages, and vehicles. He faces up to 20 years in prison for fraud and 10 for money laundering. Caldwell, of course, maintains he is innocent. Number three, Bill Hybels. The founder of the Chicago area Willow Creek Community Church resigned in April 2018. A journalist investigation alleged he made unwanted advances to junior church staff members and had an affair with a married woman. The investigation also alleged that the church leadership knew about these occurrences. We all know that mega church pastors and leaders have a huge influence over their flock. So how alert should we be at the house of God that we frequent? Hey, well, pastors, we are seeing you. Well, that's it from me today. And of course, don't forget to leave your comment on this particular video and tell us what you think. Till next time, my name remains Kevin Phillips Momai. Bye-bye.